Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be watching some more Outlander. We're at season 1 episode 13 and this one is titled The Watch. Last episode was good. It ended with a uh, mystery and uh, anxiety on my part. So um, I'm not gonna wait. I just want to jump back in, see why these men are after Jamie, what they want, what's gonna happen, how we get out of it. So um, let's just watch it. Talon, put your gun down. I found a scoundrel in here, Jenny. He's lucky I've got a steady hand or he'd have a ball in his brain by now. Dad's no scoundrel, you fool. That's my cousin, Jamie. Jamie McTavish. Cousin, you say? <sighs> Assassin? For a bride? Nearly put a gun to his head myself when I heard. But we've come to know Claire. She's a decent woman. We don't mind her Englishness so much. Quarry's come. Let's get supper ready. You daft sister. Welcoming the watch into our home. Ugh, oh, hold your tongue. It's not like we had a choice now, is it? It's only for a couple of days. Macquarie's a decent fellow. The watch, I'm they're the ones. To mind their own pockets. The money we pay is for protection him. from the Redcoats and other raiding clans. They look out for us, Jamie, and our tenants. What about the price on my head? If the watch knew they'd turn me over to the Redcoats in a heartbeat. That's why we're going to fill their bellies, give them a place to sleep, and you, cousin, are going to keep your wits about you until they've moved on. Wouldn't they know she had a brother named Jamie? Ah. Jenny. Oh. No way. Breathe, relax. Here, let's get you a seat. Is it the bear? Aye. Kicks like a mule on fire. <laughs> Just listen to your sister. Tread lightly and don't provoke them. Yep. Please, Jamie. Don't be stupid. There's nothing like charging into the guns after that first volley before the enemy's got a chance to reload. Aye. The sword to the head puts a good end to the second. They're bonding. Because I've traded a lot of army tales with Ian. Never. And he's never mentioned you. Okay, so what? I'm sure I must have. No. I'm sure you didn't. So you two weren't so deep into the drink. I'm sure you'd remember. <laughs> in the meantime, one of my horses has turned up lame. Needs shoeing. I'll well, need to see the smithy in the morning. Okay. I'll take a look at him for you. I'm good with horses, huh? And we wouldn't want anything to keep you from your travels. Mm. Get I'll that fuck out. An abscess. Andre turned up lame. This is the last time you had him shot. Just get defended. Is he? Fire! <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> this family's taking you. I want to remember who has the pistol here. <laughs> My man. My apologies, Forrester Mash. They're good lads. Just to be that coarse, neither do the army like we did, eh? No, I could use a man like you. Not just a bonny fighter, a warrior. Think you want me going to graces? Give me your presence, Mr. Horrocks. Oh no. Two lads know each other. Barely. Whatever happens, we'll handle it. No matter the cost. 
Now you see here. He's got a real one. Soon you'll have a wee brother to play with. How do you know it's not a sister? Well, I've had no morning sickness and a taste for salty food, and I'm carrying low. Same as we, Jamie. It's boy, all right. Again? Jenny. What's wrong? <gasps> My waters are broken. Looks like this lad is on his way. All right, let's get you inside. Is the baby okay? She's been really stressed. And stress is not good for the baby. He's in the wrong position. <gasps> the head should be down here, but it, it's still up here. Oh, it's a foot like me. Yes, I suppose. It's dangerous. We're going to have to turn him. So tell me what it's like being pregnant. Well, it's no drop in the hair there. Can't you see my face? I know. Come on, tell me. She pregnant? Imagine she just learned that she's pregnant or like she thinks she's pregnant. Well, uh, that'd be sick. Then towards the end, when the child moves a lot. Look at her just belly. Like it's beautiful. When your man's inside you. Mistress, there's word from the village. The midwife was called away to tend to a relative who's taken ill. It is possible to deliver a breech baby. I'm going to have to reach inside and guide it out. Okay. It's dangerous, but it can be done. All right, you'll be fetching me a good stiff dram before we start. In that case, the baby will likely be drunk too. Then he'll come into the world, Drew Scott. <laughs> All right. I favor him because he's a soldier, or because... Because he reminds me of you. Hmm. And because he protects us from the redcoats. He pays them to stay away, and when they don't, he fights them. You pay one devil to protect you from another? I'm not proud of it, but there it is. He was made for you. For our sons and daughters. I wanted to fill this house with our children. Yeah, but if you don't Fraser give it away, you can't fill it with children. Because you're, you're dead. She pregnant, isn't she? Look at her reaction. Truth is, I may never give you a son as beautiful as little Jamie. Oh no. I don't think I can have children. Oh. I tried before I met you. I read that wrong. With Frank. He wasn't the right mate. Does she know for sure? She just assumes. I'm so sorry. Maybe she really can't, or maybe she just uh, assume that she can't have children because it didn't happen with um, with Frank. But quite honestly, my mom thought she couldn't have children, and here I am. And I have a brother. Here we are. <laughs> so like, surprise! That's why she was so intrigued when she asked Jenny like how it was to carry a child and yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I must thank you. You're being generous. I swear, if he says anything. What about you? Yeah. Here, Boston's an expensive city. That's everything I have. You're the laird. Surely you can raise the rents of your tenants, huh? The British Army don't take kindly to those who harbor outlaws. Prison's no place for decent folk. I'm sure you'd agree. Is it the guy? Brother Willie carved that for Jamie for his fifth birthday. Found it recently, I meant to give it to him. Sony. Sony. It's a pet name. 
to play on the Gallic for a second name, Alexander. It's what Willie used to call Jamie. Willie's buried out there, next to my mother. She died two years after he did, in childbirth. Because uh, there's a chance she can die. You can give it to him yourself. Oh my god, she better not die! I'm gonna fucking throw him in the fire. I think we used a bit more of your hair than usual. Buy some extra in case you run short in the winter. Thank you, sir. He's a reasonable man. His guys are assholes. I have a fair knowledge of mathematics. Three men go out, two men come in. Why'd you kill him? Let me explain. I'm a wanted man. We're coming clean then. Okay. There's a price on my head. He threatened me. My family. I ran him through. Good. I never liked the Irish bastard. If ever a man needed killing, it was him. I kind of like him. <laughs> they better not find out, though. You should stay. Jenny needs her husband here with her. What I need is my brother home safe. I lost him once already. And Claire's here, so off with the both of you. But hasty you back in, Murray. Your newborn son will be waiting to meet you. Jenny found this. Asked me to give it to you. Sonny. You had your sister. Hasty you back. Or else I will follow you. I'll drag you back for your thick red curls. You won't like it one bit. No. It's just a knife. I'm sure I wouldn't. Look at the way they look at. How did they not fall in love? Like the actors. How? Okay. Professionalism, I understand. But how did they not the slow motion stop? Paint a body picture, McCory. If it wasn't for Claire, maybe I'd take you up on it. I will talk again later. When you have gloves up, you could go in your pocket. Or what? You'll turn me over to the British? Never. I've seen you inside your jail myself. I wouldn't wish it a dog. I'd shoot you first. Good to know. You say what you like about Oryx. It's gonna know how to pick a perfect spot for an ambush. Let's get any positions. Oryx was right. The high walls and the dense cover. Was it in a... Uh... A trap from Horrox? There's no way out. Call the Jenak! Jenak! Just landed on her feet. Margaret Ellen Murray. Margaret, such a pretty Indeed. name. It was my grandmother's name. Maggie. I love the These dresses. I want one. Belonged to my mother. You're tall and queenly like she was. What's that? The Lady of Lallybroch should have them. Bracelets? Someone gave them to her as a wedding gift. She never would say who. My father used to tease her about her admirer. But she just smiled like a cat that's had cream for its supper.
I love that they're bonding. Like she helped deliver her baby. Like that's awesome. Where's Jamie? Lads were killed outright. I think my home was the least I could do. What? Where is Jamie? The records have him. like that I get so fucking mad but you know what it's an opportunity because when Claire was taken by the British Jamie went after her she's gonna go after him I don't know how <laughs> but she's gonna go after him because they're 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 a team you know yeah, she's gonna go after him, no question. All right, so Claire and Jenny's relationship this episode really flourished. She helped deliver her baby and she helped her. You know, she was carrying the baby in her arms. The baby felt really comfortable and just like safe in her arms because as soon as she was out of there, maybe because she woke up, but I mean, she started crying. So I get the feeling that um, Claire is good with babies and she's going to be a great aunt. Um, one of the highlights, um, like one scene that is kind of like one of the highlights of the episode is we learn that Claire thinks, because like I don't think it's confirmed that she can have kids, but she does believe that she can because it hasn't happened yet. It's not going to happen the same for everyone, so I think that um she, i understand why she thinks she can't have kids because if she wasn't using protection if they were trying to have kids like that's what she said they were trying to have a kid and it never happened maybe it wasn't meant to happen maybe it was all part of the her fucking destiny to like change her timeline and then find the love of her life and have a kid when it's right I don't know, I'm just saying. Maybe it's because it wasn't the right person and the universe was like, mm-mm. Like, if she is able to have children, I'm gonna keep, like, the... I'm gonna keep thinking that maybe she can have kids, okay? Because she, she seems to want some and I want that for her. Like, if that's what she wants, I want that for her. If she said she was never interested in having kids, I wouldn't care. I would be like, do you, girl? If you don't want kids, that's totally fine. But it seems like she wants kids um, because she tried before and it looked really painful for her talking about it. I'm sure that when we least expect it, she'll, she's going to be like, I'm pregnant. So, yeah. Very excited for that for, um, for them because I think Jamie also had a good reaction. You know, he, he mentioned kids in their future uh, when he was talking about the money and that he wanted to keep that money for their kids and when he learned that you know he probably was as sad as claire was because you can't just be like oh whatever he's allowed to be sad if it's something that he saw himself him and claire have kids he's allowed to be like sad but I think he had a very good reaction, you know, he wasn't, he was just supportive and he told her, well, maybe that's for the best or even if he didn't really mean it. Um, and we saw in his face when she left the room that maybe it was, he was, he was sad, but maybe it was like a relief of like, well, now I can give the money away and not be worried for the, the future of my kids. But I think it's gonna happen for them at some point and I think they're gonna be great parents to beautiful babies. Ooh. 
But yeah, we're gonna go after Jamie. Probably gonna see Randall again. Maybe Randall's gonna make a move on Jamie again. He's gonna be like, hey Jamie, haven't seen you around much. What you been up to? And Jamie's gonna be like, it's not happening, dude. <laughs> and then Randall's gonna flog him. Because why not? No, just kidding. I don't want that to happen. That was episode 13 of the first season, The Watch. Which is, you know, it's also an option for Jamie. And he seemed to be pretty open to the idea, but... He loves Claire and he doesn't want to be apart from her too long, but we'll see. We will see. So I'll see you guys for the next episode. Uh, that one was really great. Um, can't wait for the other one. So thank you for watching.